What's going on YouTube family? Welcome to Automotive Life. My name is Lucky and today we're going to be talking about why so many dealerships are going out of business. But before we get into the video, I'd like to thank Golden Nugget for sponsoring this video, but more on that later. Now, it's no secret during the pandemic, a lot of dealers took advantage of a lot of consumers and learned a lot of bad habits. And unfortunately, as the market started to cool down in the automotive sector, they're starting to reap their own rewards when it comes to being greedy and buying cars for way over book value. And all these things that basically brought down so many dealerships. Now I was going to do a completely different video today, but I've gotten so many calls, texts, and emails of people telling me about small independent dealerships closing up all across the United States. Now I know a lot of you guys hate dealers and think they're shady and dealerships and all that other stuff, but you have to remember a lot of dealerships employ a lot of people. And on top of that, majority of your sales tax in every state actually comes from dealerships. So they are a crucial part of the economy. So, and on top of that, the way I figure small business, every time you see a small business die, it's somebody losing their dream. But with all that said, a lot of dealers unfortunately kind of deserve what they got because like I said, they did a lot of things that were greedy that they should have never done. And then on top of that, it taught a lot of dealers bad practices. Now, what do I mean by bad practices? As a dealer, I buy cars, I usually sell them within 30 to 65 days. I don't want to keep any car longer than 90 days because what happens is, is the book changes. The book usually goes down every single month, the value of it. But unfortunately during the pandemic, dealers were taught to hold on to these cars because you can't replace them, pay all the money at the auction because the book is only going up. And this is the first time in history that not just luxury cars or exotic car or rare sports model, we're talking baseline economy cars, even some newer cars that are not even popular went up in value. That's why so many cars were selling over MSRP. Now, a lot of people blame it on the chip shortage. A lot of people blame it on the frivolous bank lending, but all in all, it has to take all those things as well as the consumer to make this perfect storm work. We talked about the market cooling down and all the prices coming back down and dealers laughed for the last two years. They said, it's never going to happen. Prices are going to go up. They're going to stay high. They're going to be selling these cars. It doesn't matter. What I'm saying doesn't make any sense, but guess what happened? The market is cooling down. We're seeing banks tighten up at record rates, and now we're seeing dealers stuck with thousands, if not millions of dollars of overaged and overpriced inventory that they can't get rid of. So what happens when a dealer can't sell a car? Well, the first thing is, is, you know, usually what we do is I lower the prices, whatever we could do to get that car off of there, because you may lose the money on this first car, but hopefully that'll free up money that you could buy the next car and make money off of. But a lot of these dealers were dummies and didn't do it that way. They said, you know, what? I'm going to hold on to this car because I can't replace it. And I'm just going to ask for what I asked for. And I'm trying to keep the prices high. But what's happening is like I said, as the market went down and the prices start to correct themselves, Every month, dealers have reoccurring costs. Now, most dealerships do not actually own their cars. They have things called flooring lines or lines of credit that help them purchase these cars. So every month that it stays on their lot, it actually occurs more costs. Whether it's interest or maybe detailing it or things break because it's a used car, every month, hundreds of dollars get thrown into this vehicle. Now, some of these cars, you can look at car gurus, are sitting on dealerships lots for 300 plus days, which is insane. So these cars have been here since last year and they're still not lowering the prices and still not selling them. Now, everybody keeps saying, well, the demand is still high, people are out there chasing. It's not. Don't believe the hype. You can wait around and get a good deal. I just did a video the other week where we talked about how prices are basically dropping on EVs and they just announced massive price drops on all different types of EVs across the board. So the market is not as hot as what people think it is, especially dealers. They keep telling themselves this and they listen to companies like Cox Automotive that's telling them, push it up, the, the market's gonna be great, just sell the cars for what you can and everything will be all right. Well, I here to tell you that all these bad business practices they've been doing is finally caught them and bit them in the ass. Now, I love living in Las Vegas. There's always something to do, going down to the strip, eating some food, playing some slots. But if you're looking for the Vegas experience and you don't wanna leave your house, well, don't worry, you don't have to. Did you know that Golden Nugget now has an online casino app where you can play all your favorite games from your phone? Now, the best part is I'm partnering with Golden Nugget on this video to tell you about the amazing offer that they have for you guys. Now, all new customers that sign up using my promo code Lucky Lopez and make it deposit of minimum $5 will get that deposit matched dollar for dollar up to $1,000 
in bonus funds. You heard that right. Golden Nugget is matching all new customers deposits dollar for dollar up to a thousand dollars in bonus funds when they sign up and they use my promo code Lucky Lopez. Now with a variety of slot games to choose from like Cleopatra, Fortune Coin, and my personal favorite Wheel of Fortune, there are so many ways to have fun. So head over to the Golden Nugget Casino app, download it today, and make sure you use my promo code Lucky Lopez to get your deposit match dollar for dollar up to a thousand dollars with bonus funds and get that Vegas experience right from your home. And I want to thank Golden Nugget so much for sponsoring this video. Let's get back into it. So now that these dealers can't sell their overpriced cars, they start to lower the prices, but nobody's buying them. They tend to lower them a little bit more. But also on top of that, the banks are not lending what they used to. So let's say you come in for a Jeep Wrangler and they have a price for $40,000, but the book value is 35, the bank's only gonna lend $35,000. So they usually want you to put at least maybe five to 10% down to get an auto loan. But now that this car is overpriced, the customer's gonna have to put 10, maybe $15,000 down. So there's less people with that kind of money to put down on a car. So now those cars just sit around and start to pile up on dealership slots because people don't have the big down payments to move those units. And every single month, as more and more repos pour in, the banks get tighter and tighter when it comes to lending. They don't wanna give out their money unless they can get a well-qualified customer that they know will pay their bills. And those people are basically sitting fast waiting for good deals to happen. Just like myself, I sold all my expensive stuff and I'm just waiting, but I'm telling you right now, you're gonna get a lot of good deals in the next few months. But now the dealers are starting to see this market trend, it's already too late. They, they, can, they can only drop their prices so much. If they're into the car, you know, $40,000 and they're trying to sell it for 35, they're gonna lose five grand. But if they got 300 cars on their lot that are overpriced, you know, you're looking at a couple hundred thousand dollars or upside down in negative equity in some of these bigger dealerships, you know, they could be upside down over a million dollars. So they gotta take a million dollar loss to sell these cars to be able to go buy some new cars and move on. And a lot of dealers don't have any capital to do it. And that's why you see all these people folding up. You're starting to see companies like Next Gear Capital and AFC close down dealerships. Now these companies are flooring lines, the lines of credit, and they have a strict rule. You gotta sell the car within X amount of days. If you can't, you're gonna pay interests and penalties and fees, and they're gonna basically eat up all your capital unless you get rid of that car. But what's happening is dealers are not getting rid of them, so those fees become astronomical, and at the end of the day, if they have a 90 day term, 120 day term, they have to pay at the end of the term. And if they can't sell it at auction for what they owe, that means that they, the, the bank is gonna force them to take it to the auction. Whatever it sells for, it sells for, and they're responsible for the difference. I have a few friends right now that took about 10 cars to the auction and they lost five to $7,000 on each car. And unfortunately, they have to make a payment arrangement with their flooring line or their line of credit so this way they can get back to square. But now that they've had this happen, the flooring line doesn't wanna let them buy any more cars to make more money. So now they're trying to make payments on this loan while using their personal cash to go out and buy cars so this way they can try to dig themselves out of the hole. And this is what a lot of independent dealers are doing right now. They're trying to basically rob Peter to pay Paul and dig themselves out of a hole because they have this massive debt from their flooring lines eating up all their operating capital and now everybody's doing the victim thing. Oh, I'm a victim too. Uh, the flooring lines took my money. And I've had a few consulting calls of people asking me, what do I do? And I'm like, you could have sold your inventory six months ago. Why didn't you? Oh, because you know the uh, people are offering me money, but I wanted to get more money for the cars. I'm like, exactly, you got greedy, you held on to these cars, and now six months have changed, the market's completely different, and now you're upside down on all these cars. What's the next step? You're gonna take major losses. But even now, they still refuse to give away some of these cars because they know that they don't wanna lose money. It's the stupidest thing. I'm here to tell you, as a dealer, I've lost thousands of dollars taking cars to the auction. It's part of the business. You have to take L's. I don't know what it is, but over these last three years during the pandemic, dealers got stupid and said, I'm not gonna lose any money. I need to get all the money at the auction, so I'm not gonna accept a lower dollar amount. How many of you guys watching this video have made offers, good offers on cars that were for sale and the dealership said no? They want top dollar, all the money, they're not gonna discount it. I'm sure I got a thousand stories out there of people just like that telling me they made really good offers, they had it up for 55,000, they offered 53 and the bank or the dealership said no. 
These are all the people now that are taking those exact same cars to auction and selling them for $45,000 because they can't get anybody to buy it. And so the only ones to blame, unfortunately, are the dealers. Now, there are some good dealers that are going out of business, like I said earlier, but there are a lot of dum-dums that basically did stupid shit during the pandemic, got greedy, and then on top of that were so high on their own arrogance, did dumb shit and buried themselves into debt. And so as this starts to happen, what you're gonna see is a domino effect. Once one dealer folds, it's going to put up a red flag in that area. And then all the flooring companies and banks are going to be watching all the other independent dealers. And this is what we talked about before about these dominoes falling. Once one dealership goes out of business, you're going to see two or three. That's why, like I said, this week, four dealerships that I personally know of here in Las Vegas are going to be closing because they all have flooring line problems. And now that the banks know this, they're watching these dealers like hawks to see if they're going to pay off their bills and make payments on their inventory. Now, Flooring lines are gangster. Like if you're late on your car, they call you, they bug you. No, when you're a dealer, if you don't make a payment, they show up with tow trucks and block off your dealership and start taking keys. And they have the right to take whatever car's on your lot. Even if you sold it to a customer, you have to pay that customer back, all kinds of crazy stuff. But that's what these people sign up for when it comes to these flooring lines for dealerships. And that's why I tell a lot of dealers, don't start selling expensive cars until you have a lot of money because 90% of these dealers live on credit and unfortunately it's coming back to bite them in the ass. But anyways, um, let me know what you guys think of the current market. Have you seen a lot of dealers in your local areas going out of business? If so, please let us know what city and state you're in. Also, inventory. I've seen dealers literally flood their inventory. They got cars coming out of the wazoo at their dealerships, but now you're starting to see dealers start to get those ones away and start to shrink because they can't afford them anymore. Their flooring lines are locking them out from buying new cars. So if you see any of that, let me know. If you learned anything, please like and subscribe. I wanna thank Golden Nuggets so much for sponsoring this video. Please follow me on Instagram at Lucky Lopez, and we'll see you next time.